Well, election. What we're going to do is we're going to spend some time each morning on Sunrise to talk with one of the six at-large candidates. This morning we have Leigh Abu Issa. Uh, Leigh, let's get straight to it. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, but the responsibilities of the trustees is to set OHA policy, manage the agency's trust. What, what experience, what skills do you bring to the table? Well, Steve, I've been a state representative for eight years. That's a lawmaker. That's a lawmaking body. Mm -hmm. Been around for the State Board of Education. That was another eight years. So I have the experience of being on this side, chairing a committee, the side of the table, yeah. and then coming, sitting on the other side, testifying, lobbying for funds. So I get a pretty good idea of, of how to at least help them. Because I've built relationships over the 20 years I've been in politics. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I bring that's valuable to the table. Plus that I'm a real estate broker, professor of business, I got the MBA program, already retired. My family's all grown up and everything, so I have the time to spend. And I wasn't really gonna run until TCM, Senator TCM, who is, gee, I'm so sorry that he passed away because every year he would help me run. But he asked, he said, Lay, you should really consider it because you have so much to bring right. to the table. And the Hawaiians, we need to take care of the Native Hawaiian Trust Fund. Right. This is what OHA is. We forget what OHA was created for with the Constitutional right. Convention of 1978. Right. There's a lot going on within the Native Hawaiian community, lots of needs, economic, health care issues, um, sovereignty. Priority number one if you get elected. Well, this is speaking as a, a teacher, a professional educator. Uh, that's my passion. My students come to class, they're hungry. You have to feed them, you have to satisfy their needs before they even you can even talk to them or they can even learn. So we have to educate our Hawaiian people about sovereignty. We can't just go ahead and do the roll call now. We don't have consensus. We have to go out and talk to people, educate them. First, take care of their needs. Okay, they're unemployed, uh, obesity, the healthcare issue. We could have done a lot more with the Affordable Health Care Act. Right. I don't know what OMA did with that. Uh, all of these needs should be met, educate them, work together yeah. before we talk about our roll call. Okay, one last question. Uh, talk Dr. Mukai, what kind of development is appropriate for that? Because I'm a broker, I know the value of the land right there. We trade show, we, we got the 200 million, but today it's worth, I think, about 400 million because the market is hot. Okay, we are. We are uh, in a situation that's great. I mean, private public partnerships. I got a firm in Hong Kong wants to partner with OHA, 100 million to build a wonderful world class aquarium. Okay. Like the Scripps in La Jolla. Okay. How can it have been there? Right. Not only building high rises, we can do other things with that property waterfront. <clears throat> right. Leigh Abu so we appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thanks. Uh, as we approach me. November 4th, we're going to talk to more candidates for that at large seat uh, within OHA, the three of them. We'll be right back to watching Sunrise on Hawaii.